Tell me there's a Bigfoot behind me. No, it's not smart. Just bloody trees, grass. Which is a shame, because it costs quite a lot of money to fly out here. This place in general, though. So, thank you, student loan, for being there for me, even when Bigfoot was not. This week on Monster Hunters, we're here in Scotland, looking for none other than the Loch Ness Monster. Is he under there? I like to think so. But we are, it must be said, missing a monster. One large monster, sure we be. was the night before Christmas, when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled our brains for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave a luster of midday to objects below, when what to my wondering eyes did appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment he must be Saint Nick. More rapid than eagles, his coursers they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now, Dasher, now, Dancer, now, Prancer and Vixen, on, Comet, on, Cupid, on, Donner and Blitzen, to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now, dash away, dash away, dash away all. As leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle mount to the sky, so up to the housetop the coursers they flew, with a sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow and the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth and the smoke, it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf. I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk and laying his finger aside of his nose and giving a nod, up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim ere he drove out of sight, happy Christmas to all, and to all a good night. And then, well, things went completely fucking batshit crazy, if you know what I mean, and I think you do. Joe Bob says, be careful what you wish for. Now, uh, here's one that most kids like. This kid does, too. Stand by. You better watch out. Quick cameo for my handsome face, but I'm not the reason you're here. Name? Gray. Looks gray. Oh, hang on. Just want to get a shot of the Hastings sign. Oh, f off, mate. It's already clean. He's harmless. There you go, Stan. We get yourself some real meth, not that cheap shit. <laughs> no, you're crazy. Is this season pretty jolly? So say the idiots. 
Oh, please listen to something else. I'm so fucking sick of Christmas music. This is a classic. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride on a one or so open sleigh. Justin? What? Change it, please. What have you got against Christmas? Oh, I don't know, you name it. Um, parents are divorced on Christmas Day, being so broke this year that I stole my gifts from John Lewis, legged it when the alarm went off and twisted my ankle, which had days, all whilst this song miraculously played everywhere I hobbled, so this song on Christmas. Wow. Think again, Miss Sammy. We have to investigate werewolves, not to celebrate the profits of certain retailers. Can we stop and fuck something? No. That's stuff about your parents. I'm sorry. Hi, wasn't you Shag the Bimba who runs the Binker Hall, was it? <laughs> it wasn't, no. How old were you when it happened? Oh, please. Do not be fooled. Lucy. Why is there a camera in my face? Merry Christmas to you too, doing a thing on werewolves. Well, I'm not a bloody werewolf, am I? Just checking the settings, Mrs. Graves. We might do some interview stuff in here. Gonna have to swing your lens loose. Well, who the hell are you? Oh, I'm Dustin. Oh, you didn't tell me you were bringing someone. Oh, so what if I did? This is Dustin. He's good enough in bed for us to be casually seeing each other. He's in a band called I Piss On Your Soul and annoyingly labels himself as Wiccan. He's incredibly high and he uh, drinks way too much, making Christmas his favorite time of year because everyone else becomes an alcoholic too. On that note, I would fucking love a Baileys or three. Hi. Where's the Baileys? Quiet in here. This is generally how it goes. For hours, Mum and I have nothing in common. No. I'm not talking because I don't like the camera. Ignore it. I, I can't. It's in my space. Look at me, set loose. It's a charming t shirt. So, how's university? I'm dropped out. Oh, good God. But are you still working at the coffee shop? I got fired. Lucy? What am I going to do with you? Still, it's, it's very nice to have you down for Christmas, darling. Thought we were going to interview your mum about the werewolves. Uh, no, I didn't agree to that. No, you don't have to if you don't want to. I'd have to do my hair. Fine, so how have you been, mum? Yoga stuff all okay? Well, I'm still teaching, if that's what you mean. I'm not sure that is what I mean. Your mum confused that having a conversation on Mars. Mm. Most likely, yes, yes, if you've been at the Ganja again. Oh, Lucy, take off that stinky, stinky jacket. Let, let me put it in the wash. You can't put a leather jacket in the wash. What? You practically live in that thing. Do you have a bed in there or something? Funny. <sighs> well, she used to be such a sweet girl. But here she is. At the fun fair. She was a hell of a shot. <laughs> oh, your old glasses. Oh, put them on, Lucy, put them on. You a cup of tea, Mum? No, I'm fine, thanks. Cool, let's just sit here for a bit longer then. Dad! I'm gonna grab some exterior shots of the house. What? Oh, great. Dad! Happy Christmas! You look great, you're glowing! Oh, I feel pretty good. What's with the camera? Charlie. Carol? How's the yoga thing going? It's fine, thanks. How's the drinking thing going? Touche. Look at you. You're half cut already. You know, you can't just turn up here like this. 
Ken, one of my daughters in town. Let me cook your steak? No, I better... Love the T-shirt, by the way. Oh, damn! I forgot to bring you a present. Oh, doesn't matter. Old habits die hard, don't they? Do you know he once forgot to close the front door when we were leaving the house? And burglars came in and took everything without even having to break a bloody window. Is there a woman in your car? Yes. Mm. Well, show her in. Last time I brought a woman in here, you threw a toaster at her head. She deserved it. She said hello. It was how she said hello. It was her tone. The new bloody woman every week. Like a dog on heat. Justin, is it? Dustin. But whatever. Can you please turn that bloody thing off? This is personal stuff. Pulling slots off Tinder all the time. I know you're on there. You're such a cliche. I don't know what they see in you. Whatever you saw in there. <sighs> well, whatever it was, I mustn't have had my contacts in. Touche. It was like you're an extra in your own life when you should be playing the lead. You just sit about smoking weed, watching life pass you by. Where all this crazy sh but it's like it's wearing you. You have to do something in life to earn having bright red hair. You're not even in a band. Ignore me. It's the weed. Got my YouTube channel. I've like four people watching it. At least my name isn't Dustin. Have you ever heard of the lead singer of a band being called Dustin? You know, if Justin Timberlake was Dustin Timberlake. Be working at KFC. Oh my God! Should I call the police? Lucy. Oh. I'd rather not break into a police station. Don't worry, let's back in. They all glorify my dad. Even though he's the only chief constable in history who doesn't drive, it's so lame, they all have to drive him around. Right then, Monster Hunters, let's see what we can find. OK, I've decided you're crazy. Maybe, but I don't buy the story that that guy says he got mauled by some dog. Whiskey? Silver bullets. Might be a joke. They made us believe it was like a fireside story. You know, like werewolves living in caves built into the cliffs. Why they choose to live in Hastings of all places is the biggest mystery. Should we take the whiskey? I'm more of a sherry guy.
Your parents were a weird fit. How'd they meet? Dad met Mum when he arrested her. She went kind of crazy in a shopping mall when they told her she couldn't get a certain bath mat in blue. See where you get it from. Seven. I was seven when they divorced. I ran out of the house without either of them noticing into these woods. I really believe I saw one of those werewolves. Battery's come. OK. Well. So, monster hunters, we have a rare full moon on Christmas Eve, and we're back in the park hunting werewolves. What was that? Did you hear it? Nope. Merry Christmas, mate. Before you say it, no, I'm not scared of dogs. You want a hash cookie? No, they're too strong. You made them wrong. No, I made them uh, just right. The hair in my pocket if you change your mind. Let's just explore a bit. So, yes, viewers, we have drugs. Don't tell on us. Freezing. We'll have a hot chocolate when we get home. With marshmallows? Yes. And a hand drop? What is that? What's what? That. Oh, come on, Lucy. You saw what happened to that bloke? Lucy. Thunder. We're lost. Well, I know we promised you monsters, but it seems tonight we're bringing you an actual Santa sighting. <laughs> the hash cookies fell out of my pocket. Werewolf with the munchies. You might have to save the town loose. The world even. Save Christmas. Nobody knows more about monsters than you. Why would I want to save Christmas? I couldn't care less. Oh, come on, my only knowledge comes from comic books. It's a start. You owe it to your viewers. Take the camera. I'm getting an Uber back to London. No matter the cost, okay, I'm out fine, of it. fine, fine. You're right. People need to know the truth about whatever happens here tonight. This is an episode like any other, just with an actual monster. But I need you behind the camera. No way. You're on your own. I'm getting out of Dustin? here. Dustin? Dustin, if you don't film me, I will release our sex tape online. Which one? The one where you made me dress up as your mum. OK. Okay, okay. Where are all the police cars? This prick again. Excuse me, can I help you? Yes, I need some silver bullets, please. Do some damage with this. What are you doing? Santa's turned into a werewolf and we're gonna kill him. He's probably right now climbing down chimney after chimney eating families alive. Are you making this up for one of your films? Yeah, if you like, I'm gonna need to borrow your car. Well, what about your car? 
Police took it till tomorrow because I was high. But no, it's my name on the license. There are bigger things to worry about. No. Fine, you just have to come with us and drive us. Drive you? Drive you? Where? To the wolf. How are we going to find it? We'll follow the police armies. Dad, we need to call Dad. Look, I don't know what all this is about, but OK. I'll do the driving for you, but in exchange, Lucy, I would like you to help me stuff the turkey later, OK? Whatever, let's go. Have you done your hair, Mum? Yes. I'm going to be on the bloody camera all the time. You love her. I do not. Mum, can we go faster? Dad, pick up. So I'm driving towards the sound of the sirens. Yes. Oh. He's playing Dad and picks up his bloody phone. Mm, tell me about it. What do you need him for? I'll explain later. Well, this is madness. Oh, you love it. I do not. Actually, can we quickly stop over Rupert? The only person I know is Red Mormont's to commit tonight. Huh? There's something wrong with that man. There are a lot of things wrong with him. Who's Rupert? Best child of me. Rupert? Lucy. Santa's turned into a werewolf. Might need your help to save Christmas. I'll grab my jacket. Anyone want a jelly ring? How, how do we kill him? I'm not sure. Got an ice skate. Where's the other one? No, lost. Take it, that blade's not pure silver. Obviously not. Need real silver to kill a werewolf. Yeah, I know. Look, we can't just kill him. Why not? Because it's Father Christmas. That thing is not Father Christmas. It is. Deep down. But at least we'd be sure of killing him. A world can only be killed by someone who loves him. And who doesn't love Father Christmas? I must say, Lucy. You look better than you used to. Pretty, almost. Thanks, I guess. <laughs> Why are you wearing a suit, dude? You just come from work or something? No, I was just at home, dude. It's just Rupert's thing. Never seen him out of a suit. It's like a star girl. Please, you look like a disgraced kids TV presenter. How are you gonna do it, Luz? I'm gonna smash the ice skate into the side of his head. Run away. Not developed its killer instinct yet. Inside, he's still Santa. We'll get him next time. Footage has surfaced on social media of this werewolf Santa in a local park eating the heart out of a child's chest. Local residents said they saw. Looks like he's found that killer instinct. What happened to your eye? Night shifts can be tough. Carol, what are you doing here? Look, they asked me to drive. I don't know what's going on, though. There's some horrible footage of some child being eaten on their phones. But all these sirens? Go home. We saw him, Dad. We saw Santa get bit by that... Well... Yeah, we were there when it happened. So no police cover-ups. You are such a dickhead. You weren't there, Rupert. Yeah, maybe not, but I have this video on my phone. Give me that. Hey, police brutality! I'm deleting it. Go ahead. It's everywhere anyway, on everyone's phone. And I know about the UFO cover-up in this town too. They're hiding aliens in the Old Town Fryer chip shop. Everyone knows it. That's where the chips did taste funny. Radiation coming in under the door from the back room where those things hide under big glass domes. Great. So on top of everything else that's clearly f***ing you, you're also that annoying conspiracy theory guy. Dad, I know how to kill the werewolf. This isn't a comic book. It's real. And turn off that camera. What? Is, is all this real? Yes. yes! They have silver bullets in the comics, Dad. Same as you have. I know everything. Lucy, what do you want? To document it. Follow you around tonight. 
You never know, you might need our help. You don't know werewolves like I do. You're the last person with access to silver bullets. No backup is coming as I thought I was making this werewolf thing up as a Christmas wind up. That's fine. I have backup. From another division. Yes! We're gonna be famous, Luce. You'll have like a billion followers. It's here. In front of me. I may need some driving about. I really you just expect me to drive you about all night. That's not what I meant. Oh, really? Well, I'm not Mom, a little dad. I know you hate each other's guts, but for now, we need to focus on the thing with claws that wants to kill us all. She's right. Anyway, for now, we'll have to investigate on foot. You can stay in the car if you want. No, I don't want. Not with a bloody werewolf on the loose. <sighs> I'm gonna tear my junk off. Don't be scared, though. I'm not scared, dickhead. We need a plan. No, there's not a plan. My van. What? We need to get the werewolf to chase us to my house, to my ice cream van, then lock it inside. And then what? I don't know, blow it up or something. Call the army in to do it. Have them on speed, though, do you? Maybe. Your house, four miles away. Yeah, that sounds like a terrible plan. Like anyone else has a better one. Oh, if my eyes get in the car. Oh, screw it. Can everybody please just stop bloody swearing all the bloody time? Okay, it's Christmas. It's the birth. Wait, Dad, you've got your gun, right? I left it at home. I'll go back. No, we don't have time for that. Plus, we all need to stick together. It's a bit of a habit of his, forgetting his gun when he's had a drink. You wouldn't believe the amount of criminals who got away because he left it at home. Wait, the police are perished in these woods, right? So we just need to find a dead cop with a gun, as I take it they'll be loaded with silver bullets? You'd best find one of those cops before that thing finds out. Listen. Sex. There's people having sex. He's lost it. Only instead of hearing voices, he's hearing sex sounds. I knew he had a porn fried brain. I did hear that. <sighs> we all heard that, right? Doggers. It's a popular place for it. Busted doggers here for years. Are you sure about this, Lucy? Yes, we have to save them. Don't be scared, Rupert. Fun spending part of Christmas with your family, Luce. I'll call you. Stop being such a square, it's an adventure. Oh, both of you, come on. I leave you a better woman. In some part, I think it's the short time we spent together. Please. Tell the world that you're a coward. You're no longer an extra. I feel I need to get off my chest the fact I got kicked out of band months ago. I thought it was a bit of a square, too. I know. I follow them on Instagram. I've gone into at KFC next week. Oh, good luck. Rupert, go deep throat an ice cream cone. You're just a frightened little puppy. Guys, be quiet. Every dog has its day. He was a great guy. What? You're crying too. Dad, tell Mum Dustin will live. 
Sounds like the werewolf's gone. What? We're just... We're just standing here like... Like yemmings on a... I don't know what the expression is. Where the hell are we anyway? I'm not really sure. Charlie, don't tell me we're lost. I know the way out. Oh, Charlie! I've heard it all before. We spent bloody hours on the boiling hot streets of Italy, wandering around looking for our hotel when apparently he knew the way. And I got really bad sunstroke. Do you remember that? Fondly. Hmm. It was a really nice holiday, though, wasn't it, in Italy? In the end. And I really loved those tiny little speedos that you wore on the beach. Mum, please. You didn't look at bed yourself. Rupert, you're going to have to film from now on. It will be my honour. Oh, I don't know, Lucy. Maybe we should just go back for that gun. Rupert, I can feel when the camera's on my ass. We don't have time, Mum. We're fine. It's way over there. Yeah, but there's more than one werewolf. The one that bit Santa's out there somewhere, too. Lucy, maybe you should just go home. He looks like lasagna. It shouldn't make me hungry, but it does. Rupert, that's disgusting. I only had a mince pie today. We're back at the sleigh. Listen, sleigh bells. Fly the sleigh with a bunch of dead reindeer. You said werewolves were smart. Oh, in general, yes. Looks like the Santa Claus part of it that wants to deliver toys is still active in there somewhere. Oh, God, that can't be hygienic, can it? All those body parts shoved in a sack like that. Let me guess. Forgot my glasses. Uh. First time that ever happened. Seriously. Think you can take the shot? We won a lot of cuddly toys. Yeah, but years ago. Just have to be careful of the catch. It can be tricky. No way. You know you have to pull the trigger, right? Santa Claus and it just kind of throws you. I'll be the best 
you responsible for shooting some... Go get him next time! Right, give me that. Just give me the gun, OK? I'm going to finish this. Mom! You just wasted one of our only three bullets! Yeah. Well, at least I'm not afraid to use this. Crazy bloody woman. Wait. It's gone. It's following the church bells. Church bells ringing out like a dinner bell for that thing. Well, lose everyone at the service. Half oh, the town. The baker? Happy Harry, the hairdresser, the lollipop lady that stood at that crossing forever. Families. It's going to be okay. Look, Lucy. It's snowing. Everything's better when it snows. Didn't I read somewhere that lollipop lady was a bit of a pedo? They're all pedos. Might be. What? No, seriously. Every single person that goes to that church? Everyone knows there's a secret pedo ring in this town and that they all congregate at the church. It's their cover, a place where they can meet and say stuff in code. The vicar's most likely in charge of it all. When he says John chapter 9, verse 6, what he's really saying is, meet you all outside the school at midnight. Yeah, makes sense that a church full of people would turn out to an empty school in the middle of the night. Yeah, no, I, I, yeah. Just stop talking, Rupert. Pedos or not, we have to get to that church before they all arrive. Provided that we can find a way out of here. We're serving the back streets of Hastings in pursuit of a werewolf. <laughs> Best Christmas ever. I heard a howl. Mum, what are you doing? As you can see, it's a red light. There's a bloody werewolf on the loose. Run it! I'm not running a red light. It's, it's not right. Mum, you go doggy. For God's sake, Carol, I'm the chief constable. Run the light. It'll turn green any second now. I only went dogging once. Yeah, right. Really speed up a bit this time, please. We're going 30, just like the side bed. Mum, where are you going? You've driven uh, us into the front bed car park. I'm trying to turn the car around so we can get back into the town centre, darling. And do you know what? It was very hurtful what you said to me earlier, yeah? that we don't have anything in common. What about last Christmas Eve, eh? We both loved watching that film, you know, with Hugh Grant being the Prime Minister. I was pretending I was dying to watch the horror film with the other child. Mum, this is a dead end. You have to stop and reverse. Damn it. I thought it had an exit onto the main road. Oh, great. Just reverse already. Does anyone have any change? No. Do we have to let him in? Unlock the door. No. There isn't room. He'll die. What about the boot? I'm not risking my life going out there to shove a tramp in the bloody boot. Fine, I need the gun then, Mum. Yep, it's... I, I put it in the club. Oh, my God, quickly, Mum. You were saying, Lucy? Let's cancel Christmas. I'm gonna finish him. What's happening? I can't see. I can't see anything. 
anything. He's down. No. He's up again. We could just leave it, all go home, and sit it out until the moon goes down and he hopefully turns back. I wish some half the town could have been eaten. No. It's not right. trains at the best of times, let alone ones with actual real-life werewolves inside. One last bullet. Mustn't miss. Well, we don't have to go in there. Yes, we do. So, so what are you waiting for? I'm scared. OK? Oh, come on. I can't. I'm sorry, I really can't this time, Lucy. I I'll meet you back in the car. Rupert! Don't make me tell everyone what you did with that donut when you were super horny. Ladies first. Is that real? I don't even want to know. That's fucking helpful. <laughs> Sorry. Lucy, was that a sound effect? I think so, yeah. Why is there nothing happening? I don't know, and I don't like it. Okay, that one sounded real. I just trod on something. Feels like a hand. Come on, let's go.
strange way to die. We're not going to die. If we don't die, can we have sex? You can cover your eyes if you want to, it's just... No. you have any mates who might be up for it? No. It's going to have to turn gay. Do you know any guys who might be up for it? Rupert. I think we might actually die. I love you. Thanks. I love you too, I guess. I didn't really have sex with that jam donut. It was a rumour. Whatever. They found the jam donut on your... No, it was a cream-filled donut. They sell them in the bakers. You can check their website. Rupert, it really doesn't matter right now. the catch like this. You're bleeding. Oh, Lucy! You're, you're, you're getting blood all over my seats. Look, just take this and wrap it on your wrist, darling. Won't help. I got bit. Oh, that's all folks. Now you listen to me. You are not turning into a werewolf, okay? And that's that's that. How long do you think before I turn? need to keep out of the moonlight. Might delay it. And make sure you don't look directly into the moon. Best to keep your face covered with that stinky leather jacket of yours. It doesn't smell. Actually, Mum, stop. Turn the car around. Mum, stop. I will jump out, I swear. Do you have a death wish? I can't just give up. I have to end this. But look, I think you really need to stop I don't up. care what you think. Turn the car around. It's all going to be okay, all right? I just, I just know it is. Even for someone who hates Christmas, it's going to be a bit more Christmassy than this. It's going to be mulled wine and Bond films and family. It was my fault you two divorced. I heard you saying how hard it was to take care of me. I'm sorry. Oh, no. Darling, me and your dad, we just, we just fell out of love. Isn't true, Carol. Look, however this night ends, I have a question to ask. Rupert gave me a jelly ring earlier and it's just been sat here warm in my pocket. He's in the grotto. He's crawled in there to die. But I can't finish him off. He can't kill Santa Claus. I need you to use this last bullet on me. I'm starting to change. I can feel that. Get away from me. <laughs> Do something! Warm lights got into our blood now. Not much we can do. How come you know so much about werewolves? Killed a bunch of them during a full moon. 
The werewolves living in Hastings were the last ones in the world. Wanting to put an end to it all and drunk on cheap scotch, I went on a silver bullet rampage in their cave. Killed every single one of them. The last one put up a hell of a fight with some kind of leader. The alpha werewolf. Well, whatever the term is, he was a mean bastard. Could have saved yourself a lot of hard work. If you just killed the alpha werewolf for us, all the others would have turned back to normal. Forever. Huh? You learn something new every day. <sighs> You're a werewolf. All the stakes and night shifts. You killed it. But I got you first, didn't I? Don't you understand, Dad? You're the Alpha because you killed the last one. An Alpha with no pack. I'm completely confused. Dad's a werewolf. <laughs> that would explain a lot. No, really. He is. In theory. If he dies, I'd be okay again. So would Santa. He looks completely normal. Where's all the hair? Only the alpha werewolf can change at will. You can control it, can't you? Each full moon, when I feed, I can turn into the wolf in an instant, then turn right back. Like earlier today, that poor man in the park. But Santa Claus was a bit of a tough guy, gave me the black eye. Oh, my God. If your comic says me dying will save the day, so be it. That last silver bullet has my name written all over it. My no luck. Could just be something someone made up. No, it's worth a try, Lucy. Could put an end to all of this for good. I was the only werewolf left. Very easy covering up murders when you're the chief constable. Won't be so easy for you. He's right, Luce. Just kill him already. It's getting late, and the camera battery's about to die. Turn off that camera! No, keep rolling. How can we be sure there are no other werewolves out there? A victim would have to survive the attack. Your hash cookies triggered a feeding frenzy. The left zero heartbeats. Please, Lucy. Take me out of my misery. Your mom out of hers. You out of yours. This town out of its. But you're my dad. I'm the guy who cheated on your mother. Broke a heart with some woman whose name I can't even remember. Some town tramp with a cop fantasy. You know what? You were right. You did cause the divorce. Because you were a mistake. <laughs> Don't listen to him. You're still a waste of space. Hiding behind some bright red hair like it's some kind of substitute for a personality. You ruined our lives, just as every day you set about ruining your own. You just f everything up. Do the right thing for once! Imagine that this is just out of a comic book. None of this is real. Well, at the very least, forgive your mom if she seems a little overbearing at times. Because she's had to put up with a hell of a lot from me. She has the biggest heart. And I'm about to eat it right out of her chest. <laughs> Maybe he did. 
Santa. Where am I? It's been quite a night. <laughs> Do you remember anything? Good Lord. I remember its wild eyes as it leapt out at me. Are the reindeer okay? Here comes Santa Claus, here comes Santa Claus, right down Santa Claus Lane. Blixen and blixen. So, here we are. You're on. And Santa will be back to work as normal tonight. This I know for a fact, as for the first time ever, he sent me a letter thanking me for saving Christmas, no less. And people have been making and sending me these really cool cards. They're even selling them in shops. And I got this cool scar on my hand as a reminder of everything that happened last year. Thought I would share that with my 103 new YouTube followers. Oh my god, Mum, just come in and stop pretending you don't want to be on camera. I don't want to be on the camera. You love it. Oh, come on, Santa, let's go and see you, see you. I know. Anyone from Maradona? No, oh, not for me, thanks. I'm good. Oh, Lucy, this room needs tidying. Yes, I know. Well, when are you going to do it? Here comes Santa Claus. Here Listen, Sleigh Bells, it's him. Right down Santa Claus Lane. Doesn't care if you're rich or poor, he loves you just the same. Santa Claus knows we're all the children. Santa and his sleigh just got sucked up into a UFO. He just blasted off. Lucy, you missed it. I told you they were aliens. <laughs> 